Sergeants. Now to chaos at the LA City Council. Three, P three police officers, rather, were hurt and one woman arrested after homeless activists tried to halt a vote on banning homeless encampments near schools. The council went on to approve a sweeping crackdown on homeless camps. While many supported, critics were so loud at City Hall, police had to force them out of the building. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict has more. If you're going to continue to disrupt this meeting, I'm going to ask you to leave. And that was just the beginning. Yeah, grow up. Seriously, man, we're trying to start a meeting. As the LA City Council tried to hold its regular meeting Tuesday, members of the community spoke up about another restriction for homeless encampments. This one around schools. Why can't you give people housing? Giving people housing makes everyone safer. It is very clear that this city council doesn't give a damn about children, about homeless families. But the council didn't even get to hear everyone's opinion. After this woman attempted to climb over a barrier, the LAPD rushed in. While trying to get her out, others in the audience jumped in too. She got away, but one man was arrested, three officers injured, and the council room evacuated for an hour. Jumping over a barrier and putting um, other people's lives at risk that cannot be the norm around here. At issue is Municipal Code 4118 approved last year restricting encampments in some public areas. The new restriction includes schools and daycares. The school district asked the council to take action as it isn't hard to find tents set up near schools. This one is just a few feet from Miller Elementary and this elementary school sits next to the 110 freeway in South LA where there are several encampments. This is definitely not about solving homelessness. It never was. It's about protecting children. Our students are already traumatized with social economic issues, let alone they should not be exposed to sex acts. They should not be exposed to open drug use. They should not be exposed to psychotic behavior. The new ordinance would prevent anyone from sleeping or setting up a tent within 500 feet or about 150 yards from a school. Pretty surprising that they haven't done anything about it before. Neighbors say they understand the reason, but wonder who's enforcing it and also where everyone will go. It can be a problem, I think, but for the most part, I mean, what can we do? They have to live somewhere. The ordinance passed with an 11 to 3 vote. The mayor now has 10 days to sign it. From City Hall, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.